Hi guys, I hope you guys are having a good night. It is almost 8 o'clock. It's about time for Survivor to come on. Um, we usually watch it. Sherm said he don't want to watch it tonight, so... But I'm still going to watch it. Because Cindy will be watching it. And, um... Will of Fortune's when I'm trying to solve this puzzle. Bulky items. I like Will of Fortune. I hardly ever watch it, though. I just got it on this channel because Survivor will be coming on it. And it should be any time here, but, um... It don't really matter, as long as I see who gets kicked off. <sighs> I just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit tonight. Well... I had two incidents I thought you guys might like to know about, or have a little laugh about, maybe. Um, get the laugh at me. Sherm got me a, a candy bar a week or two ago from the dollar store. I'm not going to say which one. He got me one from the dollar store, and it was a Twix, a Twix. Hadn't had a Twix in a while, so I was kind of excited about it. And I got it out, bit into it. It was hard as a rock. It was so hard, it broke my wisdom tooth in half. All the way in half. Now I have a big hole back there in my wisdom tooth. Half of it's gone. It's my last wisdom tooth that I had left, and now half of it's gone. But, as you know, my teeth are weak anyway, and that was hard enough to break it. Because it was hard, and we, I had to th we had to throw it out. And then I broke another tooth um, the other day, somehow, when I bit into something. This tooth right here broke the whole point off of it. It's smooth, flat, square, clear across now. And this one's broken down here. It needs took out. I've got this one right here is chipped broken. My teeth are so weak from um, throwing up all the time because all the acid in it, they said. I wish they'd just go ahead and pull them out and let me get false teeth instead of having to get them pulled out like one, one here, one there because they're all going bad and they know it. They want to give me partials, but I don't want partials. I'd rather just have them all out and be done with it because I don't want to have partials and then still have bad teeth too because my front teeth are kind of bu bucky anyway if you look at them from the side they kind of buck out the front ways you can't tell it sideways you can it's embarrassing but I ain't really worried about that it's just them hurting and breaking <laughs> but anyway that was the first incident, and I called the dollar store, and I told them, I said, I was really nice. I said, um, my husband just got me a candy bar from over there, and I bit into it, and it was, and it was stale, and I checked the package and the date, it was stale, and I told him the date on it, and I said, it broke my tooth, and I wanted to let you guys know about it, so you can, in case somebody comes in there and gets one and then they just might not be so nice about it and, you know, complain or whatever to somebody and somebody get in trouble. So he said, thank you, we'll take them off the shelf, which they probably didn't anyway. But the other day, Sherm gets us some cheese and crackers. You know, those, the, the stick kind that you dip in the cheese and eat cheese and crackers that you can get a whole bunch of for a dollar, whole string of them there. Well, he got me one of them, the kind with the sticks. So I had one here, and I just thought, well, I'm going to open this up and eat it. So, because it was sitting here by me, so I got it, and I opened it. And I got me a stick, and I ate it. And then I thought, what is wrong with this? And then I took another stick out and put it in there. And I'm like, this cheese is really thick. There's something wrong with this. So I was getting the stick in there, and I was trying to stir up the cheese. And I'm like, what is down in here? Because it was really thick all over and down at the bottom. And then when I got to it, it was full of maggots. 
you heard me correctly. And then I spit it out, and I had white... Ugh. I went to the bathroom, had to throw up. Which I seen some come out. Oh, me and worms don't get along. I hate them. I got that's like my biggest fear, besides being alone, is worms. Ever since I was a kid, and I was always tormented with them too. People chasing me with them and stuff, throwing them on me. Oh my god. So I just took some stomach medicine and a nausea pill, hoping to go get that feeling away because I feel so sick. I mean, I got cold chills. I mean, it was horrible. When your biggest fear, like, confronts you right in the face and it's in your mouth. But yeah, I thought you guys might want a little laugh about that. You might as well laugh at me, right? <laughs> but survivors on now. I really don't have no favorites on this one, anyway. I really don't care. I'm just hoping that big guy gets kicked off. I think his name's Scott. He's he's humongous. He's really, really tall. I mean, he'd be good to have around. But he's he's an act. But. <laughs> he's a butt. But I say the wrong word there. He is a butthole. He likes to cause trouble, and he's just mean. He's just downright mean. And I don't like him. Forgive me for almost saying the A word. About slipped out there. <laughs> Apologize. So I am getting cold. So I'm going to go put my sweater on and watch this show. And I will get these videos uploaded for you guys. I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. I love you guys. And please be careful on what you get from the dollar stores check and make sure it is not expired before you get it please and the thing the cheese and crackers was not expired it did not expire till next month May 2016 so I don't know why it was like that but I am going to email the company tonight but please check your stuff from the dollar store before you eat it I would very much advise that. Okay, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you another day. God willing. Bye, guys.